good morning, good morning, good early morning, and happy Monday to you all. I pray that everyone had a blessed Easter and that they have a wonderful day today. Um, coming real quick to drop our uh, reaction to the finale of um, Queens of R&B with Escape and SWV. Um, in my opinion, uh, uh, the finale, it, it, it was good, but you can see that there's going to be discord between the two groups. And as we see, there actually is. Um, I went and watched, uh, what happens live with Andy Cohen afterwards and Coco and Tasha was on there. Coco from SWV and Tasha from, uh, well, you guys know, Escape. And um, it, 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 it was some it was some shadiness going on, you know, and, and mainly that, that, that Tasha, that girl right there, that woman is just not right at all. But we'll get to that. Well, so for for the finale, um, they just could not get it together when it came to that show. Uh, everyone wanted to be the top dog is what I call it. Uh, everybody, especially when it comes to the escape group, uh, because Coco is saying that she really felt disrespected by Candy and Tiny. Uh, and as we know, Candy and Tiny are the most relevant of uh, the escape group because they have always been in the spotlight and always kept things moving as far as making music behind the scenes and businesses and, and, and uh, who they're married to, you know, uh, TV shows. So they have always been the most relevant uh, out of the group. The two sisters, you know, they have beautiful voices, but they were kind of, you know, behind the scene. Didn't nobody really see them over the years and what they were doing unless they popped up on one of these shows or something every now and then. So uh, that that leaves me to believe that Candy and, and Tiny, they, they, they was acting divish, you know. Tiny always kind of do her stuff low-key, but as we know with all the drama with Shekinah and things like that, Tiny is one of the most sneaky women. You know, she throws rocks and hides her hands. So I can truly believe that she was behind the scene trying to uh, pull some strings to get them to be the head and the top dogs. You know, and, and I'll be honest, you know, when it comes to SWV and Escape, I love both groups. Uh, but when it comes down to giving a show, I will say Escape gives a much better show. And uh, I, 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 yeah, I love both of them, but I have seen uh, SWV like on YouTube and their shows. And then as well as I seen them when they were with Salt and Pepper when they had that uh, TV show. Uh, probably a couple years back, it was uh, SWV and Salt and Pepper. They had a reality show too, and um, uh, like I say, when it comes to performing, performing, Escape is the best group to perform, you know. And uh, SWV, they have beautiful voices, but they still want to uh, kind of stay stuck in that uh, '90s era, uh, and. Escape doesn't. They want to come out and be sexual and sensual, and you know they they ain't into the baggy pants and the and the and the uh, uh, what's that? What's them pants called? Uh, oh, what's them doggone pants called? Uh, oh, with the buckles. Lord have mercy, it's on on my tip of my tongue. What the, the, well, anyhow, they they want to, uh, and it'll come to me when I get off of here. They want to kind of stay stuck in that era when they do their shows. And Escape's not for it. They like, uh-uh, we need to uh, be divish. We got to look good and sexy. But so far as if you guys paid attention to when uh, Tasha called her husband about the money, huh, that man is lying. That man was taking a kickback. You see... Uh, he was getting money under the table and probably has always been. And for him to tell that promoter that my wife is the one that's going to make them say yes, what do you think your wife got going on to where she can make some grown women say yes to something that they don't want to agree to? You know, she, she is barely part of the group. They made a whole group called Escape 3 because of her, because she's not part of the group. So he was around there kind of scamming that promoter. 
because there was no guarantee that his wife was going to be able to talk to anybody about anything because when it comes down to them talking to her about something, she ain't nowhere to be found. You know, so he, 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 he was taking that money. And then when they asked him about that money, the way that man started stuttering, you can tell he was lying because he's a very confident, strong, bullheaded man that, that when he speaks, he, he speaks with authority. But when they asked him about that money, uh, uh, when they were sitting in there, you know, when they do the little interviews in the chair uh, throughout the show, that man started stuttering so bad. I was like, oh, look at this man. He ain't nothing but a big old liar. He couldn't get his he couldn't get his words straight. So that went to show you. He's like, how 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 could anybody uh, cash anybody's check? You know, you can't put somebody else's check in the bank, man. You know how to do that. You've been doing it for years. Come on now, you could have signed that check over to yourself. Quit quit playing games. Quit acting like oh you have to have somebody's social security number and say you ain't gotta have nobody's social security number to cash no check, man. And he knows better than that. He knows better than that. That's how you can tell that man is lying. That man is a money-hungry, uh, uh, Andre man. Like he's going to tell his wife, Tasha, as you guys see when they were, uh, and first of all, when they went to do this last show uh, together, everybody else was staying in a hotel and stuff. And, and they had to go get them a private house to their cells with a chef and all this. They, they, I mean, they living high on the horse around here, baby. You know, they were too good. Tasha was too good to go and, and be with the group as a whole, you know, and that's always her. She wants to separate herself from them. Like she's better than them, you know, and, and she really needs to stop because they say this, uh, gospel album has dropped but i have yet to hear anything and i ain't really checking for it but i do want to go and, and and check it out and see how it is but i like i say i ain't really been checking for her, you know so they say that it is released and then to come to find out her sister tamika said that they were supposed to do that gospel album together and Tasha pushed her to the side, went on, got her deal, and, and, and made and just scandalous, just scandalous, you know. Went on in the studio, and they were supposed, she said that was supposed to be an album that they were supposed to be making together. And then uh, Tasha always coming up with some excuse, you know. Well, she 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 dismissed herself, you know. Uh, uh, she, she didn't want to be involved. Girl, stop. You didn't want her to be involved because you want all of the spotlight. And I hate that about us black women. You know, we never want to see our sisters and our queens shine, you know, or, or boss up or, or anything. Because you think if they get one inch above you, you know, you, 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 you're going to be knocked out the box. No, that ain't how that works. It's enough money out here for everybody. Uh, you know, everybody should be able to lift each other up and, 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 and tell each other how to get to where they got. And, and look out for each other and encourage each other versus always trying to smack somebody down. You know, or or do some underhanded, undercut, shisty stuff due to the fact you know you 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 don't you keeping secrets and things like that from your sister and from the group and stuff because you don't want them to get in where they fit in. You know, and we we got a lot of that going on just in our community as a whole. You know, nobody wants to see anybody successful or see anybody doing better than them. And I I just I can't get with that. You know, because it, it, it brings joy to me and a smile to my face to see other sisters out here excelling and doing things and, and then standing for black excellence and just out here, you know, make, making moves, making things happen. I, I, I congratulate that. You know, because like I say, that's always hope for the next person when they can see, okay, well, guess what? This sister did it. Guess what? I can do it, too. You know, or, or, hey, sister, how did you, you know, uh, uh, who did you get with and what avenues do I need to take? And we just need to look out for each other. But, again, that's too much like right. But Tasha, she is one of those kind of people. You know, she always wanted to be about her. That's why she continuously separates herself from that group. And as we see on the finale, she come in there with a whole entourage, talking about them people, her family. You know, but 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 as Tamika say, that, them, them rock people. Them is rocky people. Them that that's not her her team, you know. But she around here now. She she thinks she big dog, you know. To where hey, she need a whole uh uh squad behind her, instead of walking in with her squad, her people, her her group members, uh, and meeting up with them. Uh, instead, she uh comes with all these old new people that nobody have never seen before. You know, so I, I don't know. That lady, like I say, that lady is a mess. And I just don't appreciate how she went on Andy Cohen. And when he asked her that question about her and her sister, 
and she pretty and, and her mother she 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 well it was petty she was real petty to go all the way back into that girl's life life talking about she was always troubled she she was getting kicked out of school and 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 she always gave my mama problems and she was a troubled child when he asked was it favoritism you know what what it's either yes or no does your mama show favoritism or not it don't have nothing to do with her behavior when she was a damn kid i think she hella grown all i i'm in the age range of escape and and, and uh SWV a little bit older than me but we all in all in the same age range for us uh uh escape we all like 45 46 47 years Years old, all the ladies. And so I grew up in that era. You know what I'm saying? And and to hear her go all the way back to when she's saying that this girl was a problem child as a kid. Now, now grant you, this ain't got nothing to do with the question that the man asked. It's either your mama show favoritism or your mama don't. And when you couldn't answer that question, the, 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 the answer is yes. Her, her behavior as a child, her getting suspended from school all the time, her getting into fights and getting into trouble, you know, you pretty much was calling her a black, uh, uh, she, she, she's, she's, she's the, she's the uh, what they call it, uh, she's the black sheep. So you calling her the black sheep of the family. So she was treated differently. You know, no matter, like I say, I don't care, uh, uh, you, 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 you got one, that one child that maybe is uh, uh, more successful than the next, but you don't treat your children any different. You see what I'm saying? That, that, that really does something to kids mentally when they feel like they're not good enough and you're treating this other child better than you have treated them. You know, so like I say, if you if you uh, care about your kids' mental state and, and their emotions, you wouldn't do anything like that. And you will make it clear to both of them, I love you both equally. You know, I may be proud of what somebody's doing at this present time, uh, but right now uh, uh, they might be doing something a little more than the next one. And, you know, I'm proud of it. But at the same time, you guys are equal and I love you all. I love you all the same. You know, so it, that that and then that woman, her their mother. That woman is, is is a mess. I'm telling you. She is a mess. She messy just like her daughter. That's why her and Tasha get along so well. You see what I'm saying? And you can see so much hurt and pain in Tamika because when when uh, Tasha came in there and she asked her to come on in and could they talk about things at the end when they were about to get ready to do the show, um, Tasha came in there and that girl didn't have no heart whatsoever. And you can see all the pain in Tamika's face. She's trying to talk to her sister and she's constantly saying, this is my sister. We got to get past this. You know, uh, we got to we got to make things right. But that's that that's something Tasha don't want. You know, she she's, comes out here and portrays to us that that's what she wants. But behind the scene and when those cameras off, she don't really want nothing to do with her sister because Rock don't want to have nothing to do with her sister. You see what I'm saying? Because he know he done stole that girl money. And he know he took her royalty checks when it's all said and done. He was their manager at that time. You see what I'm saying? And she keep trying to go back and say, well, I didn't find out nothing about it until uh, uh, you guys found out. When it came out on social media, that's when I found out Tasha stop lying girl just like you lied and said that wasn't that man name and then he came back on, on Dish Nation and say yeah that's him that's his name girl stop lying you know now all of a sudden Tamika pulling them receipts and showing where she had uh, 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 talked about it on social media way back when oh uh, well yes yeah, she did post about it but you know uh, I didn't know nothing about this to girl stop lying like you tried to really I mean she really was taken up for her husband which uh, when it came to the promoter stuff with him getting it. Now, that's this clear as day. People kill me when the proof is in the pudding and everything is in black and white. And they still want to deny uh, uh, instead of just telling the truth because they fucking, I mean, excuse me, because they're caught. You are caught. So go on, on just tell the truth versus coming out still making up lies. Can't nobody believe nothing come out of your mouth. if you When you caught, you can't even tell the doggone truth and just fess up and, and be held accountable for your actions, you know? And so when when she did that, I was like, oh, my Lord, I swear I can't stand this girl. I, I be just want to jump through the TV and knock her out. I'm not lying. That girl get on my nerves because she sit up there like she's so prim and proper and she all that. And baby, you're not. You're not it, boo. You're not it at all. 
But hey, you know, like I say, it's always them ones and she has always been the one because she is the reason why the group broke up. And then for her, uh, they, they went and played that clip back to try to stir up some strife between Candy and, and her sister Tamika talking about how Tamika, you know, when she was saying how she was always like the black sheep getting in trouble, which that didn't have nothing to do with if your mama love, who love who your mama loved the most. But OK, you know, she was a bad child. OK, guess what? I was one, too. You know, I, I was a bad child, too, but that didn't dictate who I grew up to be. You know what I'm saying? I really wasn't a bad child. I was a misunderstood child. I was a neglected child. I was a child that didn't get uh, uh, the needed attention and molding. I only got it from my grandmother. I did not receive that from my mother. And 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 and, and that generation uh, coming up in the black community, uh, even with my grandmother, knowing she loved us, us to death and would do anything for us, you know, uh, telling your family members you love them and giving them hugs and, and kisses and things like that, being sentimental that's just something that the black culture did not do you see what i'm saying that's why we have so many evil older adults because they just grew up feeling unloved even though they were a uh, uh, black folks love was tough love you see what i'm saying and so far as giving hugs and like i tell my kids every day there's not a day that go by that i'm not going to tell my children that i love them every time i see my daughter we're going to hug we're going to kiss you see what i'm saying and that that's just facts you know, I, I live with my son, but anytime he walks out my door, I love you, son. I love you, mama. You know, it, 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 you know, I, I might not hug him as much because he don't want nobody all on him. Y'all know what's wrong with that big old boy, but he don't want nobody all on him. But if he's going away for the weekend over to his sister house and stuff like that, I, I miss him. I miss him. And then I always give him a hug before he leaves, you know, but but every day we for sure tell each other we love each other. You can you can believe that, you know, because that's something that was missing in, in, in my uh, uh, growing up. You know, even though, like I say, my grandmother was an awesome, amazing woman and I love her to death. God rest her soul. But when it came down to being uh, emotional and stuff like that, I'm telling you, most most black people back in the day coming up, they, they just weren't. It just wasn't in them. And that was like a generational thing because their parents didn't show it to them. So it just it kept going down chain of command with, with uh, the, the next generation. And me, I stopped that mess. I want my kids to know that I love them. I could leave this earth today or tomorrow and i don't want them to be having any kind of thoughts or regret or like did my mama care about me or didn't heck no hell yeah i cared about you y'all was my saving grace god gave y'all to me you know you 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 were borrowed to me for me to do a job and do a good job at it you know uh uh so I, that, 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 that's something that was missing, you know, and when it comes to their mother, you can tell that, uh, if, if one of them got it, it would have been Tasha. It wouldn't have been Tamika. Tamika wasn't getting no love. You know, she wasn't, she wasn't at all. You know, her mama probably was giving her that tough love. But when you, I give tough love too. I've always gave tough love. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, 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 I was a disciplinary, you know, I wasn't beating on no kids or misusing no kids, but there was a balance, you know, there, there was a balance, you know, so I, I had to, but when they got a certain age, it stopped. It was just more so about talking. And like I say, I took my son TV and DVD player, read the Bible, put them on punishment, take that game away. You know, uh, my daughter, you know, take, take some of them devices and stuff as she got older. You see what I'm saying? But, but when they were younger and coming up, oh yeah, I beat, I beat that tail, baby. I beat that tail and you better believe it. And guess what? It paid off. <laughs> you know, like I said, I, I had those uh, years of when each child want to smell themselves a little bit, but it wasn't nothing major, you know, because they, 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 they let me go on and knock you back down the sides and I stayed on their butt like white on rice. You see what I'm saying? Maybe I was a drill sergeant. Maybe I was a little bit overprotective. But guess what? They love me the more now. They tell me how they appreciate me. They, they sh I mean, get the most beautiful as gifts and love and, and support. I just love my kids, you know. And like I say, I wasn't, I wasn't always right. Sometimes, you know, I, I, I was angry at the world or something or, or in my feelings and I might have cussed them out or something and they really wasn't even deserving of it and so I would always come back and apologize to them and let them know you look like mama didn't mean that you know y'all was getting on my nerves and and right now I'm going through a little something and I don't like to bring you guys into uh what I'm going through because I don't want you guys to worry but uh, yeah I might have snapped and cussed them out and I shouldn't have so like I say there's always a balance with being a parent you know, and you learn that over time. You have to, and especially if you don't want your children to be scared to come and talk to you about things. You want them to know uh, that they can open up and let you know anything. And whether you agree with what they're saying or not, you're there for them. 
You see what I'm saying? So that's that's the kind of relationship that I have with my children, you know. And so, like now, my daughter, she'll be uh, uh, 26 this year, and it, it's just it's, it it it. It paid off. Like she tell me, she say, Mom, I'm so glad you didn't turn into a drug addict, you know, because she, she deal with drug addict parents and their kids and different things, you know, with her uh, being uh, in case management and stuff. And so she say, um, Mom, I, I'm just so glad. She she tell me because she's seeing so much when she going into these different homes and and uh, thinking about her raising. And I didn't have the money, but some of these people, they, they got good money. They live in good homes and things like that. And these kids are off the chain and the parents is, hey, hey they just just as that oh, yeah mm -hmm. yeah like I say but God bless everybody you know because everybody had some type of dysfunction in their family when it's all said and done you know you can say what you want to say and you 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 was you was oh, I was just totally blessed and you know this that this that well you, you know probably so and no one's here to take that from you but you can't act like it didn't come with any problems as well but so, like I say, when I look at Tamika's mom, I see a, a, a I see an evil woman. I see a woman that's just like her uh, uh, daughter, Tasha. And, and, and how I can back that up is because I was listening to the Ricky Smiley show, and I wanted to talk to you guys about the tea that I had heard on the show. Well, guess what? Tamika ain't talked to her mama since that show ended. Her mama doesn't call her. She doesn't call her mom. And when she does reach out to her mom, she has not talked to her mother since that show ended. But her mama was all in that kitchen doing all them boohoo tears. I love you and don't think I love you and all that and all that. And I said right then and there, that's a bunch of bull crap. That's a bunch of old bull crap. But yes, she has not talking to her mother since the show ended. So as being the matriarch, sometimes you got to... Uh, extend that olive branch especially when you got this child that just feels so unloved by you and have always did everything to 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 be be in your life and, and make you love them kind of force a parent to love them you know now you're older you got to extend that olive branch and then it's crazy because you have grandchildren with this with your daughter you know so when you when you're doing that to her now you you neglecting and disowning your grandkids and stuff it's just crazy you know and then another thing that was said on ricky smiley it's Coco from SWV. She said her relationship, their relationship with Escape will never be the same. That show, uh, it, 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 whatever little, little friendships or things that they had, <clears throat> uh, she said it'll never be the same. She said they will never uh, uh, get together again. They say that they're never doing reality TV ever again, you know, because this is their second time. And they say that even with Salt and Pepper, when they did it with Salt and Pepper, reality TV messes up groups and stuff. And and right after uh, that that uh, SWV and uh, Escape show ended, um, Spinderella was no longer part of the group. A lot of uh, uh, demons that they've been battling came out. You know, a lot of things that was said and, and, and as you see, uh, they, they parted ways and Spinderella was no longer the DJ, DJ. She was no longer part of the group and there was a lot of drama going on and Coco said it was because of the show, you know, and Taj as well said it was because of the show. You know, and, 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 and now they saying, oh, uh, Spinderella wasn't never really the first one. You know, we didn't really grow up with her and this, that, this, that. Well, guess what you did now because you've been around her 30, 40, 50 years, you know. So, uh, uh, however she got in the group is how she got in the group. Because that, that, I remember that. I truly remember when that was being said and stuff. But to hear them just kind of rehash it and say that uh, how reality TV can ruin a group. And, and that, that, that could be true because that reality TV, it ruins, it ruins marriages as well. But we as a whole can ruin the group. Because uh, 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 when, when, when cameras is on, uh, I, I'm going to be the same person. I'm not going to fake and act like I'm any different or anything like that. And when cameras off, I'm still going to be the same with my loved ones and my group mates. You know, so I don't know to each his own. But like they said, that it, it, it ruined the S, uh, SWV and Escape's relationship. So they don't plan on doing it. We ain't getting no tour from them. So SWV is going on tour with a, a new edition. But as uh, far as getting them in, in the tour together, no, nah, that ain't going to happen. That's that. I thought we was going to get a good one because that would have been nice. And I enjoyed Escape show. They did their thing when they had that little comeback uh, show uh, tour. But uh, for us seeing them together, no, nah, we ain't going to get that. But that's okay. That's fine. You know, hey, like I say, 
we as black women just don't know how to get along and we need to do better, you know, and the older we get, the worse we get, you know, as we see even over on these YouTube streets. A lot of these elders, they're 60, 70, 80 years old and they ain't, they, they just as worse as the young ones out here. I'm looking at them like, oh, my God, y'all really need to grow up. Come on now. Y'all are too old for this mess. And how could any seasoned older woman like that want to sit around and indulge in negativity like that? I don't care if you don't have no life or, or you, you know, you really ain't got much nothing going on anymore. Why would you want to indulge in negativity? There are so many other things that you can tap into other than going listening to a woman bash another woman and talk crazy. And you jump involved and get into it, you know, like it's okay, you know. So like I say, the older you get, it seems like the worse they get. So I, I don't know. I just know I'll never be like that. All I can do is speak for myself. I'm just not going to never be like that. You know, I'm sorry. But yes, when it comes down to Rocky and that money, Rocky, he, he, he was getting that under the, under the table money. And he's probably been doing that for a long time. And, and I mean, everything is right there in black and white. He needs to stop lying. And then for him to tell his wife, well, uh, 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 if this is the end of the group, you need to end it in peace. Go on, on like this is the last concert. Uh, uh, and you just need to go on, on, let them know you done with them. Okay, bye. Bye, boo. But then when she get on Andy Cohen talking about uh, they, 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 they're going to get back together. A uh, girl, don't nobody want you around. You ain't nothing but messy. You are a me you're nothing but messy boots. And, and if they can go ahead and keep that show going with just three, uh, a, a lot of groups have uh, dismembered and, and maybe one or two was missing and they still went on tour and they did well. Guess what? They don't need you because you're a problem. And why bring a problem into your life? You know, if, if you've been a certain way for so long, you ain't finna change. If y'all did come back together and do a tour or something like that, you, you're gonna be a big problem. So why bring that problem in on you. So if I was them, I would keep it at Escape 3 and let her go on about her business, you know. It's because she, she, she a piece of work. That girl is a piece of work. I'm telling you, the whole way she talks, the whole way she sit up there, like I'm telling you, like she is Miss Ann. She act like she is Queen Sheba. And I don't know who you think you is, boo-boo. You is not nobody. You are no, well, I mean, she's somebody, but you you ain't no better than, 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 than your counterpart. You ain't you, your partners, you ain't no better than them women. You know, and like I say, you you really are irrelevant when it comes down to uh, uh, Candy and, and Tiny. You you pretty much, you, you ain't made it to their success level. Not at all, you know. And so when y'all get that group back together, you should be glad because you finna pull in some coins. You know, other than what your husband be stealing, you know, because he a thief. He ain't nothing but a thief, can't be trusted. And you right there with him. Backing them up every uh, step of the way. You know, it's okay if you're going to back them up out, outside in the public because that is your husband. But you're going to go home and get right on that, that, that Negro head. You're going to go home right and you're you going to get on his head and let him know, look, man, what you did wasn't right. You know, you what you did. And like I always tell people, the reason why uh, uh, I was spared throughout the death of my husband and, and is because I never indulged in his activities. You see what I'm saying? I got up, went to work, took care of the kids, did what I was supposed to do. I used to be out there. But when I got older and I was like, man, we got to let these streets go. You know, I left that stuff alone. And when I mean left it alone, I left it alone. I, I, I wasn't about that life no more. And he continuously was. You see, no matter how far we moved away from the hood and, and, and got into better situations and things like that. He gonna mosey himself on down there and he gonna find his way back to the hood no matter what, you know? And so, like I say, God knew that I wasn't involved in any of that and I was just trying to be a parent and, 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 and do the right things and leave that part of life alone. And so I was not brought in to, because uh, like I say, when people come kick in doors and things like that, the, nowadays they don't spur women or children or, or not even the dog or the cat. They kill up everybody. You see what I'm saying? So that's why God let that stuff happen on the outside of the house versus somebody coming in my house and kicking my house in and all of us would have been dead. You see what I'm saying? And that wasn't nothing but uh, uh, grace. That wasn't nothing but mercy from the Lord because it could have happened any given Sunday. You see what I'm saying? But it didn't. And that was because God was protecting me. God was protecting me and my children. I've always been a praying woman. You know, I've always been a God-fearing woman, even when I was doing wrong out here. You see what I'm saying? I, I knew uh, my Heavenly Father was the only person that was going to get me through. You know, my grandmother raised me up in the Lord and in the Word. So that, that that's 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 standing. The faith is strong, you know. I, like I say, I might get a weak a little bit uh, within myself, but faith is strong in the Lord, you see. 
So God spurred us in that way. And we see a lot of that going on, you know, where they like, man, you know, they uh, such and such didn't didn't uh, die, but such and such died or un unalive or whatever they say on here, you know, and that, that's because God was sparing them. You know, and if you don't indulge, because see, like they say, you you just as worse as the person that's doing the sin and doing the act if you're indulging in it, if you're okay in it. And that's the honest to God truth. You are you are uh, just as bad. You 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 might not be the, the culprit that's actually doing it, but you're okay in it. You cool with it. So with Tasha, girl, you just like your husband because you are not stepping to him. And like Candy said, he your brain. You can't talk or make any kind of moves without him. Now, Andy Cohen last night, you say, you know, he's not here today. And, 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 and you know, I'm talking, you know, whatever. That's what they think. You know, no, no, no. That's what we see. That man run you, girl. And then for her to come out here, she's a liar. Remember when she just did that crying and ooh hoo hoo and boo hoo and I want to apologize and it wasn't, it was fake, it was fake. Remember she said that they had an open relationship and that uh, uh, she already knew about old girl and anything that, that he did. Uh, but now, last night on Andy Cohen, she wants to say that, oh, she said it wrong or, or what she meant was that they have a communication. So you communicating about him cheating? Huh. <laughs> It, 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 you know, no, no. Like you said first, you didn't want to look stupid. So you made it as if, okay, we have an open relationship. And then that made you look even stupider. So now you want to come and say, well, we have communication. So he come tell you where he want to go lay up with uh, uh, Jane and Sue and, and Sally. Oh, he come let you know, huh? And you okay with that. Girl, boo, get on up out of here. Your man was cheating on you. And you were not okay with it. And he's probably, why she's talking about something, yeah, 28 years, 28 years. Okay, just because it's 28 years don't mean it was 28 uh, a happy years. You see what I'm saying? Because she's the kind of woman that, like I say, she, she G for whatever. She G for whatever going on with that man. You know, and he could be dogging her out. He could he could be around her stealing the group's money. He he could be uh 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 uh. Well, he is a narcissist. That man is a stone cold narcissist. I'm telling you. And 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 I mean, she's okay with it. Long as she with her husband, that's all that matters. You know, even when it, and then she gonna try to say uh, last night on Andy Cohen that uh, uh, all my sister had to do is just come to me and say that she don't want Rocky, uh, you know, uh, taking up so much of my time and that she missed me and that, you know, trying to make, like, make it like she made it seem like everything was Tamika issue, you know, as if, you know, what, what minimizing what they did. I don't like people that cannot be held uh, accountable for their action and take responsibility for it, you know, but instead they always want to point the finger at the next person instead of pointing the finger at their self. And that woman got a lot of that in her. Your sister ain't worried about you being with your husband. She got a whole big giant hunk of a man over there. He a, he a, he a tall drink of water. He a pole. Let me climb up him. You see what I'm saying? So come on now. She ain't worried about you being with your man. She got her own husband. And like you say, y'all been together 28 years. Do you think your sister still tripping off you being with her man if that was the issue? No. That No. She got her own life, honey. And it looks like to me, y'all life don't connect in any kind of way. You see, so so for her to say that, that was another comp out. And so all she got to do is just tell me, you know, I'm splitting too much of my time. And, and that she, that's not it, Tasha. That's not it. You are evil, uh, malicious, a uh, 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 diva that thinks she all that. Uh, uh, you defend wrong when you know it's wrong, you know, because she got up and walked up out of there uh, when they was talking about that doggone money from the promotion uh, deal that he had under the table. And, and, and she got to call to him and talking, and, you know, and, and I mean, she was right on his side when she called him when she walked out that doggone uh, building. But like I said, that man is lying. He couldn't even get his facts straight. When you telling the truth, you ain't going to be all around there stumbling over your words because for real, you you, you passionate about what you're saying because you know what you're saying is the truth. So you you making sure you get all that out. That man couldn't even think straight. So, he, yeah, he stole his money. He stole their money. They ain't nothing but he, he just a thief and, uh, and good riddance, Tasha. Bye-bye. God bless you. Y'all going on and live y'all happy uh, uh, communicating life. And he can continue going on laying up with Sally Jane and uh, Sue, you know, and, and you, you, you just continue taking it and being unhappy with the world because you're unhappy with yourself. So that's why you walk around and we never see you smile. A woman that can't never even put a smile on their face, even when we going through uh, uh, a bout of depression or something like that, uh, uh, we were strong women and we can conjure up a smile, whether if we wanted to or not. That woman never smiles. I'm telling you, that woman never smiles. That's why you like, oh, my God, you see nothing but evilness through her. But to each his own.
But yes, the finale, it was pretty good. But we see now, he he's a thief. He stole the money. Then two, we're not going to get an SWV and escape show. Uh, three, uh... It, it really messed up any kind of relationship that SWV had with Escape. Uh, and it shouldn't have. It shouldn't have been such a big thing about who ends the, with the last song and uh, uh, who is going to be uh, top on the marquee or, or you know, uh, uh, who's going to be the opening and the close. And they just should have got in there and had a good time. And you know what I'm saying? No, They know within their uh, uh, own groups that, hey, everybody is the SHIT. We all the shit around here. You know, hey, hey, we is, we that. You know, we 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 are that. Y'all y'all are equally uh uh successful as we are. Not one is better than the next. That that that's just right there. It's unnecessary. But like I say, when you old diva and you know you 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 think you better than somebody, that's the type of stuff you get out of people. You know, and then it it turns into discord and strife, and so then it messes up any relationship. But as y'all see, Tasha's still over there uh supporting uh Coco and them talking about she's your this my friend, this my friend, girl. You only saying that because she don't like your sister in them. <laughs> that's the only reason why you saying that is because because. Believe me, if she was all in, in, in their mix and wasn't and, and wasn't really studying you, she she wouldn't be your friend, your friend. You see what I'm saying? But because she don't want to have nothing to do with them no more, uh, now now you and her bosom buddies, girl, go have four seats and sit down. You petty, you real petty. I mean, grow up, grow the heck up, you know. So. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get no, because uh, as Todd said, I went and watched her interview after it uh, aired, uh, after the finale aired, and she was able to get everything off her chest. And as we know, Ty is one of the mo more level-headed women. And for her to be saying the things that she was saying, I'm like, oh, we it was some drama. And like she said, she is never doing reality TV no more. She said she don't want to have nothing to do with Escape either. You know what I'm saying? She said she does not like Don Juan. And you know, Don Juan is uh, 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 Candy's assistant and he is messy and she said that uh, they did a lot of editing on the show to kind of make them look bad she did not appreciate that you know she said the editing was horrible like when we seen uh, Coco uh, 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 stressing how she was upset last night when they were doing the uh, uh, what they call that, the playback before the uh, concert, uh, sound check and all that stuff. Uh, she, she, they, they did a part where she said, uh, looked at uh, Lily and said, uh, you're not from the New York no more? Like, meaning New York is about that life. And they said that was not even what she was talking about. She said she was not even, but they edited it to make it look like it was some drama, like it was some tea. And she said they just only put that little part in there when she was saying, oh, you ain't from New York? Like, you know, New York about that life. You know, come on now. You know, we don't got to take this off of nobody. And she said she was not in the, uh, nowhere near saying anything like that. You know, but like, so they say the editing was really terrible, but you know, they always got to bring a little tea and a little drama to these shows, you know, so that's expected, but they probably don't expect it because, you know, they, they only did two TV shows, you know, and, and like people from, uh, 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 Candy and all them from, from shows, Housewives and stuff that's been airing for years, they know how that editing mess go. So it really don't bother them, you know. But for us, them, they don't want to be upheld in such a negative image. And I can understand that. You know, don't 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 edit me and have me out here looking like I'm petty or I'm messy or or you know I'm I'm just drama filled. Come on, don't do that. Cause I am a grown woman and I uphold myself to certain standards. Now come on, this money ain't worth it. You know, but they say they ain't doing it no more and they their relationship is tarnished. And like I say, uh, Tamika and her mother has not talked since the show. Uh, Tasha has as well changed her number again and has not talked to her sister, but I could have sworn just last week or the week before last, she was boo-hoo crying, talking about she wanted to make this right, and, 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 and like I said, that to me was nothing but a cleanup tactic, because she is in that gospel world now, and she's trying to break through, so she got to make it look like she, she, she's, she's all that, you know, she got to make it look like she, she, she really on the up and up, when for real, a uh, girl please, you, 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 just like your husband, honey. Because anytime you keep laying up with a man, you're okay in what they're doing when they're doing wrong. You got a lot of their tendencies, you know, and that, that, that happens in relationships. You know, uh, either their good good tendencies are going to rub off on you and make you a better person, or they're, they're a bad person and their bad tendencies are going to rub off on you. And if you were a good person, you start kind of acting like them now. 
You know, and that, that's just facts. It just really is what it is unless you're a strong-minded person like myself. And I'm like, oh, no, boo-boo, I, I don't, I don't, you know, you, 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 you stand for something. I don't care if you're my man, my husband, my child, or, or whoever you are. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. And that's always going to be. You know, you can't make a right wrong. You know, you, 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 because you, a right is always right. And you can't make a wrong right because wrong is wrong. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm coming. I'm, no, I'm at four, about 40 minutes. Oh, Lord, I've been talking my butt off. But I hope everybody watched it. I hope that I didn't spoil anything for the ones that haven't watched it yet. Uh, if you haven't watched it, uh, go on back and check it out still. You know, don't, don't worry about what I said because you have to draw your own opinion off what you guys see. You know, as well as uh, when you're on YouTube, start checking into some of the little stuff. Like Candy, you know, she has her little uh, podcast and stuff. And she does a lot of uh, uh, talking about issues and stuff that's going on that was going on throughout the filming as well as uh you know when you google uh coco or, or or swv it'll pop up on 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 where they at now and then you'll be able to see taj's interview last night uh well she did a live not an interview she did a live last night and she was just spilling all the tea that she's been wanting to talk about but the show was fin was airing so she said she's glad it's over and she spoke her truth and i really believe taj because like i said that woman is a very level-headed woman she's not one of these old ignorant women and she's not a woman that that thinks she's better than somebody and try to act like she's a diva she's different from that you know she's just a down-to-earth regular uh human being she's just a good woman you know she has good character about herself but thank you guys for listening um we we're we gonna try to see what the next uh reaction to uh any shows are if you guys are watching uh, a certain uh series that are coming on or or about to air for a new season or for the first season uh we can do reactions on it you know because i love my tv shows now and um yeah, we can. We would just let me know in the comment what you guys watch. You know, for us, uh, you know, like Ninety Day Fiance or Love at the Lockup or or just anything, any kind of show that you guys watch. You know, just just let me know and and we can do reactions on it because I pretty much watch everything. I, I watch both both sides of the track: Caucasian uh, 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 reality TV and uh, uh, African American uh, reality TV. I just love my little shows. You know, I'm old. I'm I'm old. Don't worry. About it. it's gonna be all right but thank you so much for listening i appreciate you all i hope that everybody rested well and that you all wake in good spirits and ready for what this day has to offer as well as uh, uh just have a blessed week period you know uh let peace be still like i said i wasn't feeling too well over the weekend but actually my easter turned out very very nice you know uh i had got in my feelings and was feeling down but 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 god is good you know my my spirits are back up up and 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 I, i'm okay i'm okay but like i say uh when you thinking about your loved ones and 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 they're not here and around when these holidays come around like especially important holidays like thanksgiving christmas easter things like that you know it, it and you know you have all these different traditions and things that you guys did uh sometimes it can kind of weigh on you and so you just got to tap into the lord and pray you know and and and, and just just you know if you got to cry cry it's okay to cry sometimes that is just such a good relief you know it, a release it, it you can get it's like cleansing i guess it's like a good cleansing you know and just and just kind of rest your mind you know rest your brain and rest your body and just pray and and i, I promise you by that next day you'll feel a whole lot better you know, because you, you, you made it thus far. God ain't failed you, and he's not going to fail you, you know. And he only puts so much on you uh, that you can bear. He's not going to put nothing on you that's going to break you completely down. Unless he's trying to break you down so he can build you back up to be the person that he wants you to be. Versus out here being uh, an evil person like some of these people we know out here on, on these YouTube streets. He will put you on your face. And I mean, you better lay flat. And while you laying down there flat on your face, you better be praying. But yes, yes, yes. I will talk to you guys uh later on this week because i gotta uh uh yeah I, I gotta come back and do a reaction on some stuff i seen with miss knight over there but whatever to each his own you know i ain't gonna come out bashing her too bad but if, if in the next couple days or so if i hear anything that, that that look like it's gonna keep on going in this direction i got something to say about that woman because i'm telling you she is a straight up piece of work now now you around her calling Rini ugly you talk but but oh i ain't gonna go there because we're gonna go into that on another 
day. Because this woman here is a piece of work. She don't get it. She's special. I'm telling you that girl's special. She's special needs, y'all. Why they was always trying to talk about Treese was on some little bitty bus. Now y'all was on them little bitty buses too. Don't go, go, go on on. Tell the truth to change the devil. You special. You slow. But anyhow, I love you all. God bless. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, cut your post notifications on so uh, you can uh, know when I post my next video. And we're almost at 1,000 followers. So as uh, soon as I get to that 1,000 followers and I, I kind of wiggle my way around on how to do this live and stuff like that, I'm going to do a live. It might We might do a mukbang and we might just talk about things that I've been through in life. Not, and, 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 and things that you guys maybe have been through where, where you know, we can, we can kind of get to know each other a little better. I ain't going to put all my personal information out there before. As far as my testimony, I sure will. But I'm not going to, like I say, because these, these people too vindictive on here. You know, they are straight up evil. And as time go on, you'll find out more and more. You know, because like I say, I'm not ashamed of anything I've been through in life. I don't regret anything. It made me the woman that I am today. And if it wasn't supposed to be that way, it wouldn't have been that way. Now, grant you, I had some choices where I could have did some things differently. But like I say, if, if God didn't want it that way, it wouldn't have been that way. You see what I'm saying? So whatever it was, it, it, it was to teach me something it was to you know help me to stop generational curses to, to help me know that I didn't want my children to be in the same predicament that I was in coming up it just was all was learning lessons and like I said I was hard head you know and a hard head make a soft ass all the time you know so I don't blame anybody because a lot of people didn't have fathers and mothers in their lives and they're out here they're lawyers they're doctors they're very they're very much so successful because they they chose another path so we all have choices God gives us choices and I and sometimes I chose wrong you know I, I didn't I didn't have the, the the foot that I needed other than my grandmother to to build me up and then like I say it was only so much that she can do as as a woman on fixed income and uh, dealing with a special needs child herself that she never put away in any type of home or anything my auntie stayed in the house and my mother my grandmother took care of her you know so and then like I say when you on fixed income you, you know you 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 it's only so much that you can do and then when you got a child like myself that I, I was caught up I want things you know the biker shorts all this stuff that was going on the, the stack hurdles you know I, I jumped off the porch I got on out there in them streets like I said I got my first house when I was 16 years old you know and my mama got rid of me when I was 12 you see so but that's a whole nother story that we'll talk about as time go on and I'm able to do my lives but I appreciate you all once again I love you guys and have a blessed day have a prosperous day and let nobody steal your joy nor your peace Talk to you later. Bye-bye.